Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for 50 Shades of Green. This is a Pantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica, Amanda, and Cece. <laughs> so I am filming this project about two weeks late because it would normally go up on the 15th of the month. I am filming this on the 30th, so just about two weeks late. So I'm going to go ahead and do a six week update and then the next update will also be a six week update. So this project has 50 items to start all relating to green somehow. So they can be green products, green packaging. The name of the product can have green somehow. So a green item like mint or watermelon or something like that somehow relates to green. I did not have any empties previously. This month I have one, two, three, four items that can roll out. So I'm very happy about that. Let me share with you what those are. The first one is by Clinique. This actually came in a green box, but it is not green now because I threw the box away. It's the Fresh Pressed Daily Booster with pure vitamin C 20%. So it's this here. I took this with me on my trip and used it then. I think it was about seven uses, maybe a little, no, it was right around six, maybe less, six uses. Cause I think I finished it before I left Istanbul and I was in Istanbul right around six days. Yeah, around six days. So this was actually nice. I like this. What I don't love about this is that the first time you use it, you have to shake it for about 15 seconds. So you can't like use it right away. And then you kind of have to shake it up around five to 10 seconds every time you use it. Otherwise it's a little granular and it doesn't really feel that great on the skin. So I don't love that about it, but I do like this product. So it does have like this little pushy thing here and that's how you get the serum out. You can see there's a little bit coming out there at the bottom. Yeah, I, I liked it, but I would not pay for this. I, I have other vitamin C serums that, or one vitamin C serum by Timeless that I love. I got this as a freebie from the CCO when I went there April sometime earlier this year. So yeah, used that up. Nice, liked it. The next item I finished is by Herborian. It's the Bamboo Creme Frappe Skin Reviving Fresh Gel. I took this with me traveling for work and this was okay nothing to write home about would not purchase this it just didn't wow me it was a gel i don't really typically like anyway it just didn't wow me i would not purchase the next item i finished is by keels is the avocado nourishing hydrating mask so i have this deluxe size sample this was 25 grams as you can see it fell and the cap broke <laughs> this was I think the cap broke and I, I think I had one use left, so it didn't compromise the product. It still seemed to seal up pretty well anyway. There, there doesn't seem to be a gap there, so I think it was still fine even if I still had plenty of product in here. I really do like this product a lot. Actually, now I say that and it kind of feels like what's left in here is a little bit dry. Uh, one thing I will say about this is that when you, as you can see, there's the, the product. When you scoop out some of this, it's not, you can kind of see it's a little clumpy. And I was doing some reading on this when I, when I used it, because whenever you apply it to your skin, it's, it's not like a smooth cream. And the instructions say to get a generous amount and to kind of rub it in your hands and then apply it. And it's really, it's not, it's going to stay clumpy. It's not going to turn into a smooth cream and that's the way it's supposed to be. So that's the way the product works. I enjoy the, the mask. I think it's a really nice hydrating mask. I have a couple of full sizes. I accidentally purchased two full sizes from Sephora when they were on sale. But yeah, that's something to note about this product. The last item I finished is by Scentsy. It's the Watermelon Tangerine Sugar Scrub. Still cannot speak. And I took this with me on my trip to, to Turkey, not just Istanbul, to Turkey as well, and finished, started it and finished it 
while I was there. I was gone for about 15 days. And this was lovely. It smelled really good. And it was a great size for that length of time that I was away, which was a little over two weeks. I really enjoyed it. It was great for like a, you know, summer scrub. Yeah, it was nice. I really do enjoy Scentsy's scrubs. So those were my four empties. Ziggy. Zigster. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Where are you going? In the window. Okay, let me share with you how I'm doing on these other products. I don't have everything here, obviously, because I haven't started using everything. There were 50. Well, now there's 46. <laughs> but I have started, I mean, I've started using several, but not using everything yet. So the first thing I have here is by Joe Malone. It's the Basil and Neroli Cologne. And I want to use a third of this bottle. So just a teeny tiny amount of progress, as you can see. I, of course, did not take this with me on my trip. I was, I have been focusing on two other perfumes. And right now, I really, really, really want to work on the Sol de Janeiro body spray. The one that smells like, the frick, what's it called? the boom boom cream. Wow. And I, I took that one with me on my trip as well. I think I'm about halfway done with that, but that's kind of my, my focus right now because I know I won't use that in like, like later in the year. And I just, I need to use it. I need to spray it a ton. I want to take that with me to Spain and I'm going to have to decant it because I don't want to check a bag when I go to Spain because of all the craziness with flights right now and that is in a bottle that's too large it's like 3.3 ounces or so. I think it's too large to take into a carry-on so I'll definitely decant it but anyway that's priority right now and then this will kind of be after that and so I probably won't have too much use on this over the next month at least I would think next up from Bath and Body Works I have the Waikiki Beach Coconut Shea Butter Hand Cream and I did have some use on this, just a tiny bit, because this sits up, sits in a little trinket tray by my couch. I have like three other hand creams that are currently open that I'm working on. And I finished one, so I'm down to two, including, plus this one, so three total. I wanna get those other two, wait, yeah, two. Is it two? Yeah, I think I'm down to two now. Plus, and then this one as well, so that's three. I want to use up those other two first because there's less product in those two, and then I'll focus on this one. So that's the goal. Next up, I have by Murad the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. So I actually have this much progress on this. Now, there's a caveat because I decanted this into a little tube that went with me into my travel bag for Turkey. Now there's still a little bit left in there. I think a decent amount left in there because it's a little deceiving how much that little, it's like this big, it's like a little, it almost looks like a little tube of toothpaste, but it's small, it's like tiny. I think it's deceiving how much that thing will hold. And I used a bunch, I mean, I used it exclusively for my, as my evening eye serum whenever I was gone. I don't know, and I know I didn't use that much for sure. So that, but I, I have that in currently in my suitcase to take with me to Spain, and I wasn't going to put it back in here to then take it right back out. So this is deceiving. And of course, well, I, I even if I wanted to, I couldn't put it back in here because this is not a screw top. So anyway, I'm going to work on that before I, well. I can't say that I'm using this now for my like in the bathroom but I will use what's in the little tube when I travel hopefully that makes sense anyway that's my progress but it's deceiving <laughs> next up from Dr. Jart I have the Dermaclear trans foam clay mask this is the green version so that's my progress line there as you can see wait over here over here 
Now, I did take this with me traveling, and I think I definitely used it once. I didn't really need to take it. I mean, I didn't use it the, just that one time. But I, what I, what the reason why I took it with me is because whenever I go to the beach, sometimes my skin's like, oh, my gosh, there's too much, like the, all the sunscreen that you put on. Sometimes it's a little bit too much, so my skin gets a little clogged, and that's why I wanted a, a mud mask to go with me. I took this as a for that reason and I did use it one time and it helped so I'm glad that I took it with me but yeah that's a tiny amount of progress I am using this now this is by Biosance it's the squalene and vitamin C rose oil and I just finished a small little mini like this I had one open that I was using pre before I left for my trip and then I ended up taking the, a full size and I used most of the full, like a lot of the full size that I took with me. So then I just put the two together and then one ended up being an empty. So that one was in my turn and burn project. So now I'm using this one and this one will go to Spain with me. It's pretty full. So I don't think I'll finish it. It's surprising how long it takes to finish these. There's what four mils in here I think there's four mils it's starting to like wear away the, the the writing on here I think there's four mils anyway it takes forever to use these Ziggy where are you going <laughs> next up from Peter Thomas Roth I have the cucumber gel mask and here is the product so I've made progress on this I've used it a lot so there we go and there's as you can see there's a, that's about half half done and it's one of those masks that I use you know midweek sometimes it's kind of a somewhat hydrating mask it's not super hydrating but it's it's all right and you know sometimes I'll use this or I'll use a sheet mask so you know it's not my favorite but it'll do in some instances Next, I just started using this. This is by Tree Hut. I started using this whenever I got back from my trip. It's the Shea Sugar Scrub and Margarita Citron. So I couldn't decide between this. Oh, it's dripping. I used it this morning. I couldn't decide between this and then another sugar scrub I have in my This Is Fantasy project. So I may go back to that one because that project ends sooner, but... I'll still end up being able to finish this and then use that one before this is fantasy's over. But I was trying to figure out if I, and I haven't even looked yet, but I was trying to figure out if I had a body lotion in the other sugar scrub scent. And so I, I still need for that. Anyway, this, like I said, I just started using it. So there's barely any progress. This scent is very light. And I don't know if it's because I've had this one a while or if that's just the way the scent is, but it's not my favorite. I feel like it's too light of a scent. I'd rather it be a little bit stronger. And now my hands are sticky. Uh, yeah, so it's not my favorite for that purpose or for that reason, I should say. But, you know, it's all right. But I like the sugar scrub itself. I just don't. The scent is kind of lacking, in my opinion. I need a wipe. The camera may have moved. Sorry. Next up from Elemis, I have the Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. And as you can see, I've made pretty decent progress on this. I really do like this mask. It's the Nourishing Prebiotic Green Mask. I would repurchase this. I would prefer to purchase this on sale. So I think if I saw it on sale, I would purchase another tube because I do enjoy it. I think it's nice for my dry skin. Next, I have from Bath and Body Works, the Waikiki Beach Coconut Moisturizing Body Wash. Now this one is almost done. I will probably have this done in a couple of uses. We're down to here. So I don't know if I can finish it in one shower, but I'm thinking two and this will be finished. I'm currently using this with a Waikiki Beach Coconut Ultra Shea Body Cream. Is that what they call it? Yeah, so I'm, this is, pretty close to being done. I go through this much quicker than I do the shower gel. And I think it's because it's the packaging. I can squeeze so much out of this. Like when I squeeze, it's like, oh, there's a lot of product that came out. 
versus the shower gels. They're a little bit more challenging to squeeze product out of for some reason. But yeah, I mean, I really do like this product. You don't find Bath and Body Works come out with very many scents in this line. I prefer this over the shower gel because again, I have dry skin, so, but you don't really see this one that often. But this one will be done by the next update for sure. Next up, now I have not started using this, but I will be using this by the next update. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. So there are 30 patches in here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 30 pairs, 30 pairs, not patches. 60 patches total. Yeah. And I have, I think, two pairs left in this one that I'm currently working on. I, that's what I remember seeing the last time I looked. Yeah, there's, I think there's two pairs left. So by the time the next update rolls around, I will have started using these. And so I will just give you a little sneak peek at what these, I haven't even looked at these yet. Let's see what they look like. Oh yeah, they're green. They don't have a smell. They kind of smell green, if anything. So yeah, these will be use, starting to be used by the time we update this project next time in August, August 15th. And the next thing I have are the Tony Moly I'm Aloe Sheet Masks. Now I originally rolled in 10. I currently have three left. So here are the three left. I did take these with me on my trip to Turkey, but I ended up only using one. <laughs> I ended up only using one. So I, I don't remember how many I showed you last update, but I just have, I have five here, five empties. So there's the five masks. So, but I used one last month and then, or one in June and then four in May. Well, yeah, today is the 30th. So, so far I've only used one. I may want to use one tonight. I don't know. Okay. That is all the like body care and skin care perfume stuff that was in the project that I'm working on. So now let's move on to the makeup. All right. The first thing, I don't think I was working on this last month. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Serene Greens Primer Water. I may have mentioned it as a product I was going to start working on but there is my progress so far. So that's, I think, what, six weeks of use? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. There's my line from last <laughs> Little Catty Wonka. So I will update my line to here. I didn't see that when I was marking my product. Did I say Catty Wonkas? There we go. That's my progress. I, so, I Half the time I forget to use this or I don't have the time to spray it and wait for it to dry. So next up from CoverGirl, I have the Clean Matte BB Cream and uh, this is the shade 520 Light. And there is the product and there's my progress. So just a tiny amount of progress. I do want to finish this. So, I mean, I'm making some progress. This did go with me on my trip. I used it a couple of times. I was really focusing on my foundations more than this. I kind of use this on mornings where I really was kind of like doing a no makeup look just to even out my skin tone. And this is okay. It doesn't, it's, it's you know, it doesn't wow me or anything. It's kind of like meh, but I'll eventually get through it. And then we have some eyeshadows. I have two from Mac. The first one by Mac is the shiny pretty eyeshadow in make a wish. So these are both potted and this is gorgeous. Love it. Now I want to use all the eyeshadows 20 times. And there it is. You know, I kind of want to do this over a, a, a bit of a wet, wetter base. There we go. Much better. So pretty. So I had used it one time last update. I've, 
It says I've only used it twice. I feel like I've used it like three times, but I didn't mark it, so it's fine. Next for MAC, I have the Shade Shifter Duochrome Eyeshadow in Ho Ho Hocus. So this is from the most recent holiday collection. And there we go. This is, it's got some like, I recently used this. This is so pretty. There we go. Gorgeous. Again, I've used, I used this one one time last update and I'm up to three. I really, I didn't take any like exciting eyeshadows with me on my trip. It was pretty much like boring things because I really wasn't like doing any, I mean, I was with my family. We were it was just easier to take simple things. So none of my exciting eyeshadows went with me. Hence why I was excited to be back home. Well, to play with my eyeshadows, makeup. Next up from Cleona, I have the eyeshadow in Verde. I am wearing this one today on like the center portion of my lid. So pretty. Oh. Mmm. Look at those eyeshadows. This one I have three uses on. I had not used it at all last update, so I've used it three times since then. So those are the three eyeshadows I have in the project. And I have two eye pencils, one of which has no use since the last update. I'm thinking I'm going to be using this as an eye base. It's by MAC. It's the Eye Coal in Tarnish. I And I'm thinking that's probably going to be more useful in the winter but anyway that's yeah we'll see this is a black and green and then oh I, I didn't fix my eyeliner hold on the entire video this this eye was all janky so I what I didn't mention is for these eye pencils I want to use them 20 times yeah as well just like the eyeshadows the next pencil I have is by Urban Decay. It's the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Overdrive. This is beautiful. I love this one. I am wearing it today. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Hmm. I've used this one six times so far. Next, I have a mascara. This is by Thrive Cosmetics. It's the Liquid Lash Extensions. Now, I am wearing this today as well. I did not take this with me on my trip. I took like another mascara that I felt more comfortable with. This one, I like the way it looks, but it was kind of bothering my lashes. Like at the end of the day, I was kind of picking up my lashes and I was like, I don't want to have to worry about that whenever I'm traveling and I have long nights or long days. Like we would be going from like, you know, 10 in the morning until nine o'clock at night. And I didn't want to have to worry about my lashes bothering me. So this I just saved for whenever I got back. So I'm currently working on it now. It's definitely not going to go with me to Spain. So we'll just see how long it takes me to finish this up. But I am working on it now. And then I have a couple of come like face complexion products. And these also have usage goals. I have by Pixie the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. Now you guys are going to have to tell me what you think, but I am wearing this today. And I'm only wearing this shade right here, the lighter shade. Uh, I mentioned Subtle Sunrise. <laughs> so I'm trying to determine if it's a shade that I should keep because I have the lighter version of this du of, of a, this duo and I can't remember what it's called, but this, this shade is too dark and I think mixing them is still too dark and I'm tan right now. Now I'm not the tannest I will be because when I come back from my next trip, I will be a little bit darker. But that's not normal for me because I don't normally spend two weeks at the beach during the summer. So I'd rather go by what my skin tone looks like now. And I feel like this is a little, like it's, I think it works, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So tell me what you guys think. 
like let me know in the comments i've used that one so far three times and i want to use it 20. next up from the balm i have the balm springs long wearing blush in the shade in full swing so here is the packaging and then here is the blush and I also want to use this one 20 times, 30 times, this one 30 times. And there's the blush. Now this one I have used as well three times. Last month I'd used it once, or last update I should say. The last complexion item I have is by Benefit. It's the Dandelion Blush. They call this the Baby Pink Brightening Face Powder. I think it's a blush. Anyway, I've started to use this. I want to finish it. So this did go with me on my trip. This is very like hard pressed in here. And you know, it's interesting because it's light. It's very, very light. I'm not sure. You see how light that is? How easy it's gonna be for me to finish this. I may have to franken this or something I don't know I mean it's very hard for me to get product and I you know what I have another dandelion blush and I don't remember it being that light is it yeah it is yeah okay I may just have to mix it like maybe I'll lay it down and then put orgasm on top of it or something yeah so started to use it on my trip and it'll definitely go with me on my travels to get some use on it or I may just have to wait until the fall and winter whenever I'm fair in order to wear this okay those were the complexion products and then I have some lippies I was working on the Kiko Milano green me lipstick and essential mauve and the all my lipstick matte lipstick and worry less I haven't made any progress on those so I'm not even going to show them but I do have well I've I've, I've been using these. There's not much pro progress on them, but I have been using them. From Pixi, I have the Shea Butter Lip Balm in the shade Ripe Raspberry. So I took this with me on my trip and I used it several times, but you can't even tell. Now this, I think, is going to be very hard to finish. Very hard. Because I used it a decent amount and then, like, I measured it and I cannot even make a line. Huh. <laughs> Today I'm wearing it. I was like, let me just put this on. So I put it on and I have over it this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Berry Haute. This shade, it's a, like a purple shade. And I think it turned out really pretty as a combo. Yeah, this is going to be hard to finish. And I also took this with me traveling. This is the Clinique Pop splash lip, lip gloss in the shade fizz pop and I want to finish half of this and it looks like I can actually make a line which I didn't even notice but I think it's about right here let me just yeah let me make a line eyeshadow was so pretty look at that shift Whew. anyway oh yeah so there's my line so I want to finish half of what's in here the last thing that I pulled out is by Laneige. It's the Lip Glowy Balm in the scent Pear. So I pulled this out because I finished another lip balm that I was working on and I wanted something by the sink that wasn't, and this is not one out. It says that it's pear scented. It's a very light scent. So it's not overpowering. So it's actually whenever in the in the morning, whenever I'm like drinking coffee, I can put this on and it, it doesn't interfere with my coffee. <laughs> Unlike the EOS lip balm that I have, which is a grapefruit scent, which does interfere with my coffee. So I can use this in the morning. But I also just rolled in another fresh lip balm that's a mini so I think this is going to go back on the back burner while I finish that and then I'll probably pull this back in whenever I'm done with that so we'll see but I think that is everything this is a very long video <sighs> yeah <laughs>
that is everything for this video. I wish Ziggy had hopped on the bed, but he's being a little stinker. Hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. So we're going to go ahead and do like a six month, six month. Wow. Sometimes I get used, half the time it gets used you. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button and I, well, I, I'm sure I looked at the camera funny. Please hit that Okay, bye.